I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm picking it up on my camera right now. That's kind of where my point is too. See that? Right there. Yeah, look at it again. No, there's something there. Right there. I will follow you to the ends of the earth if I have to. I did what I did and I still pay for my sins. That's not fungus. What that? So it looks like a mother holding a child. It says sacrificial lamb. So it looks like there's something right here. Oh my god. So we just found this right now, guys. It looks like this carousel. What is that? Whoa. Are you okay, bro? He's just... He's just wearing a robe. Just take it easy, man. Who is this guy? Welcome back guys to this next exciting adventure of Randonautica. I'm here at a local forest, actually, back in Barrie. Um, this one I think I've been to before. Um, it brought me to a point that's actually way farther down, so I don't think I've been to the areas that it's suggesting, so that's why I kind of was interested to do this. Um, I will be meeting up with Angelo. Um, I know you guys really like uh, us making content together, me and exploring with Angelo, so we will be doing that. Um, yeah, this forest isn't too big, so I think I can manage this one on my own. It doesn't seem too bad. We do have daylight, as you guys can see. Um, for those who don't know what Randonautica is, it actually should be something I should be bringing up in every intro. So for those who don't know, it's this app. You can get it on Google, uh, Google Play for free. And you can uh, basically, it runs off of intuition, intentions, and it's very psychology based. So it has to do with uh, basically your mood of the day, like whether you're happy, sad, mad, angry. If you have good intentions, you might go to a, a beautiful place, like a peaceful place. Or if you have bad intentions, maybe something poor might happen. A lot of that can depend too on your mood. So like if you're not in a neutral state of mind or a happy state of mind, things can change. But anyways, guys, we're gonna push on forward and check out this first point. And for any of you new newcomers, uh, be sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. We've got new adventures. Um, I have been trying to tell people to, to follow me on Instagram because the thing is, if you're with me on Instagram, um, you'll get all the updates. So any new episodes that I create, you'll get that as well. Sorry, my touch screen's being a little weird today. I don't know why. But yeah, uh, any updates or new episodes, you'll you will get those right away and you'll know when I'm gonna premiere and that whole bit. So be sure to follow us on Instagram. We, uh, we use that a lot. All right, guys. I don't know why it's... Autofocus is being weird today, but it should be fine. Yeah, so we do have some daylight. I'm hoping it doesn't rain. That's been an ongoing thing, uh, not just in Barrie, but like in uh, Brampton as well, because we, uh, it's supposed to rain again when I see Angelo, but hopefully it's actually all right. But we have been getting a lot of rain lately. I've noticed that. A lot of cloudy sides. It's like, it's basically what's happening is, um, we're, we're moving into fall, and when you're moving into fall, 
and winter, I just heard something. It sounded like a cough. Oh, okay. It's just some guy there. Hopefully he doesn't fall. But when you're moving into fall and winter, it's a transition and you get a lot of rain. Hold on. Okay, so I just found this. I don't know if I've seen this before. Or not. That's strange to me. Okay, so there's like a... There's something on the back of it, guys. I'm just checking it out. I have been finding creepy stuff in this forest before. I don't know who leaves it here, but I always manage to find really, really weird stuff. I heard some guy walking down the trail, but I'm not sure if he's coming in here or not. But anyways, I'm just gonna check this out. There's some sort of pull string here. I don't know what it is. It's like a wind-up. Yeah, that's unsettling. So I literally just found this just coming in. And it actually moves its head. Something tells me that I've seen a doll like this before. Not on my own adventure, but possibly editing, like, one of my friends. That is eerie. So what's weird is that my point is actually way, way down here. But I wanted to check out this site because this is, this is an area also that we've been finding starseed stuff. And I know that you guys really wanted to, um, you wanted me to pursue that. I know it's dangerous. I'm interested in it at the same time. I'm hoping that, like, people respect that with me is, like, I do want to pursue and find out what happened to these missing people. Uh, we've been getting a little bit on something called the Children of Selene, so perhaps that's the actual name of this cult. We don't know how new or old they are. Uh, me and Braden tried to Google them. We couldn't really find anything. There's very old cults that have basically, they've been revamped and modernized and changed and things like that. So they're not like really old traditions. It's more like fanatics trying to restart some old stuff. But yeah, that is spooky nevertheless. I'm gonna put her back in here. I don't really know what to do with these dolls, man. That's just weird. Maybe somebody else will come along and scoop her up. Okay, so I'm coming in here because we found... We did find some weird stuff in here before. And I've never been here during the day. I usually have only been here at night, so I feel a lot safer. Yeah, it's like somebody's got wood here. Maybe to start a fire. And they set this thing up here. They've been building, like as you guys can see, like look at all the ropes. So we have been here once before at this area. And they've been just going to town constructing this teepee. So we're not sure if, if for sure this is a cultist doing this, but we do know that people are living out here in the woods. And they're constructing these little, uh, if you want to call them teepees or forts basically to survive and look they have little bits of rope there's like rope and stuff like that everywhere hold on what is this okay so I know what that is down there on the ground before that that's just like a THC weed thing what is this so we just found this in the woods now guys I don't really know what this thing is it's interesting I think you're supposed to turn it upside down. They look like little weights. Oh, and there's little numbers on them. 68 degrees, 31 Fahrenheit, 72 Fahrenheit, 
There's like temperature on them. So we just found this, guys. Let's see. So I guess you turn it upside down. This one at the top, that's uh, 60 degrees. Okay, let's just see what happens here. I've actually never, I've actually never seen one of these in person. I've only seen like them on videos and things like that, but I've never held one in, in person. So let's see it. Okay, so you turn it upside down. And it looks like they're all rising to the top. That's kind of neat. So maybe this actually tells the temperature. Whichever one comes to the first. So it says 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So that one reached the very, very top. And it's thimble is like right here. I don't know. It is a little bit chilly out. So that could make sense why. But that that is really, really cool. I'm just going to leave that there because that probably belongs to somebody living out here. So it's funny, the last time I was actually out here, and this is a different portion of the trail that we've been, you know, finding starseed things and stuff because I think this group literally uses a bunch of different areas of forest and stuff like that. It might not be just berry based guys. It could be scattered like everywhere across Ontario or Canada or maybe bits of Canada in the States because a lot of these groups are fanatics that they believe they're in a bigger organization. They spread out. They literally incorporate, they try to involve as many people as possible. And they, it's almost like a gang. It literally is. It's almost like mafia, like a bunch of things, like, cause there's, it's a big organization and they literally have everybody believe in whatever their leader talks about or says. Now we haven't really heard too much about a person that leads this group. Um, the last things that we got, we got names like Toby, which we started out with. Um, uh, I've been seeing notes with E everywhere. That's a big thing with me. I don't know what it means. I don't know who it is because the stuff that we did find of a girl named Ellis that actually said Ellis. It would say Ellis Baker and other things. Um, I did find missing persons posters here. And me and the boys really think that they're they're fabricated. That somebody did that to mislead us into some sort of trap out here. Um, even the photos, like I couldn't find any suggested photos looking up missing people and talking to the police and everything about that. So a lot of times I look like an idiot going to the police because I'll find these things and I'm just like, there's no proof. That's why I say like, I got to see the person before they go missing to ever actually say like they exist or don't because there's no proof it's my word against you know nothing like it, it, you get somebody telling you like oh this person's missing I'm like okay but i don't know this person i've never met this person so that's a big thing yeah i've been hearing sounds but i don't know sorry as it loses focus here but i think that's what we're gonna do guys we're gonna go down the trail and just see um see if my point brings true brings up anything okay Oh boy, this has been a long walk. Look at that. DTNA, Detroit user. That's nothing. Had to, had to get rid of some footage there. Big walk, guys. So this is the other teepee here. As you can see, they've really been uh, constructing them. Let's see? Okay, so there's nothing in here. So our point's long down this way. Hopefully we find something cool. Nothing dangerous though. Oh boy, I had to take a break there. I'm not used to having a hypoglycemia either. I have to have a lot of sugars on me and drink, so hiking is a little bit more work. Oh boy. This place has a lot of twists and bends, but I liked picking this one because it's near a complex, so 
I do feel a lot safer being here. But yeah. Just checking out this next point now, guys. Huh. Mm. I thought this one was much shorter than it was. Oh wow, look at that plant. Isn't that pretty? We always see a lot of nature. Me and Brayden, I've actually come across some nature with Angelo. I have caught a snake on film. I thought that was cool. This looks like some sort of bog. It's like thick. So you don't want to step there. That's for sure. Okay. Right. What's that? I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm picking it up on my camera right now. That's kind of where my point is too. See that? Right there. There's some sort of light. definitely is a bog so it goes back that way I saw some sort of light it's kind of freaking me out I've actually never been this far before not in this forest yeah, look at it again. No, there's something there. Right there. This one is our point. Like, our point is out that way. So, I don't know. I have to keep my guard about me. I'm a little nervous. I actually got my steps in today. I'll be making one big cut in the footage, that's for sure. It was a lot of walking. Yeah, there's something right here, dude. Right here, guys. Spotting it. Even the camera's tracing it. What is this? Somebody out there? Hello? What is you this? Arrived. The candle just went out. As soon as I got here, the candle blew out. Oh, hold on. It actually is still on fire, it just came back. That is weird. It relit itself. I don't know if, I think I caught that on film. Oh my God, that's weird. That is creepy. Like, I don't know much about witchcraft or anything like that guys, but that kind of eared me out. Like for reals. The, I think I got that on film. It was literally not lit and then it just lit right back up. So we just found this. And we found this, uh, a heart-shaped box. This one's very, very different. That is so wild. I can't believe we just found this. This is crazy. So what's this? 
So it looks like a little angel playing guitar. That's kind of cool. Put that little guy back where he was. But I can't believe I caught that in film. The, the candle was literally out, and then it just lit, and then it it grew. It's like it grew, it grew bigger. Okay. So we're gonna examine this. Like lit fires in the woods, guys. Especially with all that's going on. Okay, so we're gonna check this out right now. Okay, so we found this little box. up right now. Okay, we do have a note here. Is there anything on the back? Okay, so there's nothing on the back. So this note says, yeah, look, there's an M with the top hat again, once again. I will follow you to the ends of the earth if I have to. I did what I did and I still pay for my sins. Please stop, exclamation point, trying to pursue evidence of my crimes. I've paid the price already. I've doubled back on my tracks. I know where you are at all times. I'm always watching. And then at the bottom it says, don't let your intuition be your inevitable death, E. And then there you go, guys. It says E at the bottom. See, I don't know who E is. I don't know who E is. I don't think that this is Ellis. I think it's somebody else. I have had a stalker for some time now. I've had people on my property, on my security cameras. I don't know who they are. I know that I've been being, I've been followed for some time now. I have checked the vehicle for trackers. We haven't gotten anything. And since I go to a family mechanic, I'm there quite often enough, we would have found something. You know what I mean? We would have found some device already by now. Cause I've had him search up and down in the engine, the whole bit, but whoever it is, I mean, like somebody had said, like my license plate was on one of the videos that could have been a way to capture it. Uh, I have had hackers like hack my phone and things like that or actually even my Facebook account. My Facebook account was actually recently compromised. So I didn't even have Facebook for a while. I had to make a whole new account. And that's just to do with this whole YouTube gig, right? So, but nevertheless, that is just wild. I don't think I've ever found something as wild as this. And then look, this is all wax. Like somebody hand carved this thing which is really really wild in a way it's disturbing so they obviously know that we're using randonautica and that's why we keep finding this owl and this particular owl is the symbol like that is kind of the randonautica symbol so but yeah i think what we're gonna do guys i don't it's not that i don't feel safe i mean i am in like a public area so I know that people use this place. Um, it's not nighttime yet, which that's really, really good. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back. I am meeting Angelo later on. We're hoping that the weather is good. We have been getting really poor weather lately. So far, so good. I haven't had any rain. Hello? Is anyone there? I heard sounds like coming up this way here. I just heard sounds in this direction. Hello? is that hello is anybody there are you okay that is weird
weird. Okay. Turn this thing off. Yep, I think we're gonna get going. That does it for me. I have heard weird stuff in here before, but usually it was at night. I know it's I know it's approaching night. So it's actually like 7.30 at night right now, p.m. So it's not dark, dark. But yeah, I will be meeting Angelo later. Um, you will be seeing a lot more of me and Brayden lately. Um, I'm helping him out with his channel, so he'll be doing some Randonautica as well. Be sure to um, check out Be It Gets Lost. I'll drop him in the links below as I always do. Yeah, that's so strange. Like, I heard... it's It sounded like a guy, like, in pain or something. Out this way. I don't know what that was. Over here, all I was hearing was, like, some footsteps. So I was hearing a little bit of footsteps back there. But, I mean, like I said, like, it is a park, like, public park. So I could imagine, like, people hiking and stuff. But, yeah, I think we're going to get going, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this next episode. And we'll see more. What's going on guys? So for those of you who don't know, these are actually my stomping grounds. Um, I wasn't born and raised here. However, for most of my childhood years, I lived in Wasega Beach. So um, in elementary school, I came here in grade five and I literally spent the majority here. So I, I, I literally lived here from grade five all the way till grade, tw grade 12. I was in Wasaga Beach. Uh, we're doing random knotting here. I've always wanted to random knot here. It's been a while coming. It's a crazy moon tonight. I heard it's called a blue moon. I don't know. I don't even know what that means. But as you can see, to me, it just looks like a full moon. So I don't really know exactly what that means by a blue moon. It looks like a full moon tonight. But anyways, guys, um, <laughs> people coming by. Uh, but anyways, guys, we're going to get this party started and check out this last point before we see Angelo. Um, I'm going to see him tomorrow, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. It says that our point is actually off that way. So we're going to go down the beach and just see what we can get. Hopefully this thing has some focus. But yeah, check out this amazing sign they put up. There was actually a lot of new things that they've added. Um, this sign and a bunch of new shops and things like that. So anyways, guys, without further ado, let's uh, head, up, head on down and we'll find this next point. All right, guys, so our point's straight ahead. Let me get the other light out, too, just so we can see where we're going here. Eventually, I'll be able to afford an O-light, which has a wider radius than this. This, this light, obviously, see, won't fill the screen, and that's why I want an O-light. This does a bright bright lumen though of seeing around and stuff which is pretty cool and as you guys can see like check out the water it's way way back there wow i would love to come back here during the day it's actually been years since i've been here they have a really cool uh, fair too in the summertime. It's pretty. Ooh, they put these big, big pillars in, eh? Yeah, it's really, really cool. Both my doctors are in Wasaga Beach. So whenever I have to go for my health checkups, my B12 shots, all that kind of jazz, I come to Wasaga. And they're really good people. They love living here and traveling and doing their own thing, so that's cool. So our point's actually up this way, just a little bit past this. 
Yeah, I saw some gnarly looking benches here. What's this say? Bench in memory of... Oh, okay, so it's one of those memory things. I always kind of like to check off... What's over here, though? I don't really see anything that catches my eye. There's something over here. Okay, so just wrappers and things like that. See, that's what I mean, is that sometimes, I don't want to blind myself with my own light. <laughs> um, sometimes we find things that are actually not the point. So I always like to be uh, clear on that. I got this really cool shirt, you gotta check this out. So Betty got me this, and it's got the moons on it. If you guys can see, hold on. So I got this really cool uh, space shirt. It says Portal on it. There's all the moons, different things like that. I'm a big Donnie Darko fan too, so when I saw the shirt, I kind of lost my mind. Really, really nice gift. She said, I saw that your Randonautica stuff had a lot to do with like space and the moon and things like that, and she got me that, so it was cute. <sighs> It's funny too, she got it from Ardeen's, so there's actually uh, some new men's clothing at Ardeen's. You can check that out. Much, much of it is really baggy. Okay. So we can't go up there, because that's a different park. We're not allowed to be there. So our point said that it was actually over here, in this radius. So I don't know. I see a tree. There's a bunch of garbage cans covered there. Let's just see if there's anything behind here. Because you never know, you know what I mean? Doing Randonautica, we never know or expect what we're going to find. Let me check out the moon. That is wild. Just unreal. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything here yet, guys. I don't know what's going on. Whoa, okay. What is that? There's something on the table right there. Ah, jeez. So we found something right here. You have arrived. Just getting right off here. <clears throat> what is this? Looks like an old, uh... It looks like ashtrays, to be honest. But you know, somebody could have just left this here, like a homeless person or a family, I don't know, people that smoke. But these are kind of old. Yeah, this one still has some grit in it. I don't know what this is. Whoa. What is that? Found a USB. Is somebody out there? It's so weirded out by people leaving things. And that's the thing, like, I know that I've been followed. Like, there's just been so much evidence and so much going on that, like, I know that I've been followed. I've been getting these little trinkets left for me. I mean, this could be just anything. It really could be anything, but at the same time, I'm taking the USB with me. Hold on. I'm not seeing anybody. Is there anything else? And I'm gonna snap that. So we found this little blue USB. <clears throat> I haven't found any tapes, and it's been a while since I found a tape. Near the water, that's literally it. But yeah, I'm not seeing anybody. And everything seems to be pretty calm right now. Put this back. I literally don't know. I might take that with me. I don't know who's littering or leaving this here. I'll take that with us. Yeah, guys, um, I think what we're going to do is, like, I have nothing to play this thing with, so we'll have to, oh my god, we can see the moon through the trees now. It's almost like the moon moved. 
Look at that. It's moon right through the trees. I think what we're gonna do though, guys, I don't have anything to play this thing with. It's a USB. Um, I found a broken tape the last time I was with Angelo. It was completely destroyed. Um, whoever I, like, I get these tapes and it seems like my stalker, whoever he or she is, they hate that I get these tapes. So it's almost like somebody wants me to know the truth. Somebody wants me to solve this thing and figure it all out. What's really, really funny, so we've been calling them the children of, um, the stars or star seed and etc. But we found a note recently saying that they're actually called the children of Selene and they worship the moon, a moon goddess. And it, when I looked up the moon goddess on Google, it had a lot to do with vampirism. Like she was a, a she was immortal and then who, who became immortalized. Like everybody worshiped her like a god later on. But I think during her Earth years, she drank blood. I'm pretty sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong. You guys can Google Celine. You can find out everything about her. We were doing some stuff on her. Like I said, it's, it's not something that really sticks with my mind. Um, I am interested in, like, you know, regular space, like astro uh, astrology and things like that. But as far as it goes with cults and different beliefs, and yeah, I'm sorry. There have been a few people that said that they were offended and everything. I don't mean I don't mean any offense um, to those who practice Wicca and things like that. I've got my own beliefs. You guys have yours. I respect I respect that. Um, obviously, not all of it is evil. I think that there's somebody that is evil who broke off from whatever they were in, like whatever organization they were in. I think that they are particularly evil. Because, I mean, we've been coming across evidence of missing people, a possible serial murder, which is really creepy. And I think me and Angelo may have had run-ins with this person or people like this organization. Um, I do know that we have had a lot of stuff going on with the uh, Vissarians as well, which is wild. I don't know too much about them. Angelo has done a lot more research and stuff into that cult. But this cult, I believe, is something new, modern, and they're really going off of old tradition stuff and they're getting cocky and they're getting smarter. They're getting a lot, lot smarter. I don't know who left this. Um, that is really weird that I found it in this old ashtray. That is bizarre. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go home. We're gonna, we're gonna put this thing up and you guys can hear whatever's on there. Hopefully we find something good. Hopefully it was something for me. It could be just garbage. It literally could be. We do get duds. We get things that are just random. Maybe I'll open this thing and there's a few stupid photos on there. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this is the cutoff. We actually can't go in here. That part's a provincial park. That part's closed. But this is open to the public, I saw. And which is why I wanted a random not on the beach because it's kind of like, to me, you know those people with the metal detectors and looking for things? That's how I've been looking at it with uh, Randonautica. Because we've been coming across things. I know people have been led to farmer's fields and, you know, Zares or like historic plaques. Don't worry because, I mean, if you're using the app and you find like little things, like even a historic plaque, like things like that, that happens to all of us. It literally happens to all of us. I've, I've told you guys many times that I've gone days and days without getting anything. And then I get a hot lead. Like I get a hot spicy lead. Oh, I just dropped one. I think what we'll do is we'll throw this in the trash. Because I don't smoke. I have no interest in this thing. But I don't like the fact that people let her... I've always been interested in finding like really cool things. What is this? She caught my attention. I think it's just a fork. Yeah, it's just a little, uh, little thing. So yeah, I'm gonna still look around. I mean, there could be other things here. Looks like there's a little bone there. The beach is really wild for finding things though. I, I as a kid, I'd explore and I would literally find things here all the time. And a lot of people leave like jewelry and stuff like that. And then, you know, if you turn it in and then nobody claims it within a certain amount of time, it's yours. And I just thought that was really cool. So I was really interested in treasure hunting and things like that. And when um, Angelo actually told me about this app, uh, Randonautica, he said there is that aspect that some people have found things like treasure. 
It's, it's funny because we've actually run treasure or buried treasure, different things. I've never come across something cool like that. I would love to find treasure or something that's valuable. What is that? Hold on a second. Yo, what is that? That's cool. Hold on, guys. I found something cool. Wow. Does it still work? Oh my god, I found this. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, guys. I just found something right now. Oh my god, this is cool. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay, so let's just clean this thing off here. I found a bracelet. Check this out. Okay, so it's got like... Wow. It's got like the coating and everything like that. So the, I, I can't remember what these are these numbers are called, but they're on a clock. I always called it that hard to read clock to my dad. Let's see if that thing even fits. This is the first time I've actually found like jewelry and the same thing. I might I might take that thing. It looks really cool. Okay, hold on. Let's see if it fits. Let's see if this thing fits. I think I found some treasure. I know it's probably not valuable or anything, but it's probably something that's, uh... Holy smokes. Oh, wait. I think I can line it up here. Look at that. Holy frig, I just found it. It was laying in the dirt over there. That is friggin' cool. I know it's probably not worth anything. It's probably just stainless steel. Oh, wait a second. There's little beads inside. Do you see that? That could be obsidian. Okay, so there's little beads on this little part. I think that's obsidian. Let me just get this thing turned over. Yeah, I think that's obsidian. Holy fudge, I'm just saying treasure hunting. I found a little thing. Actually, I'm gonna wander a little bit more. Okay, so we just found that right now. I was about to give up looking. That's what I'm saying though, you can find all kinds of neat stuff just laying in the beach, guys. What's that? I think that's just charcoal. I've never found like really cool stones or anything like that before, but um, yeah, I think it's safe to walk back. I've, like I said, I've, I've doubled my tracks. I haven't seen anybody following me. The car's back there. I definitely don't want to get a ticket though, because I know I, I don't know how long we're supposed to park here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get going. We're going to play this tape for you and see what we got. Welcome back guys to this exciting new adventure of Randonautica. I'm back with one of your favorites, Angie. And we're checking out this forest. Um, we have found some really, really creepy stuff in these woods. Long ago, um, we decided to come back though and run new intents and see what we find. And it's really wild too because we, I've been coming across some cult stuff. And um, yeah, I just really wanted to see if we could find anything and everything out in these woods because your intents you guys have been giving us have just be keep landing us things as we go along so anyways as always i put your intents below so you guys will see that um yeah i think let's i think we should start getting boogieing boogieing boogie boogie are we boogie manning are we boogie manning is that what we're doing yeah i Maybe guess just invent a new trend it's a new trend ha <laughs> hashtag boogieing uh, i thought i saw a light and then i heard something what else? I guess yeah, we can boogeyman this way? That's boogeyman this points. way, yeah. Back in the desolate woods. <laughs> Alrighty. Take this thing off here. I know, and if you can see down here, see how they're all like arched and bent? Like, they're just gonna collapse on the other part of the trail. So we're actually pretty close to this point, guys. It was kind of a trek to get to this area. 
So her point says that it's actually uh Yo, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that too. So we just heard a branch breaking in this area here. I mean, it is raining, so... Mm-hmm, could be anything with nature. Mm -hmm. So our point's actually in this whole radius here. There's so we'll just more, check it out. There's some more fungus. Where? In a tree. <laughs> there's a big blob of it right there, you see it? Look. Yo. Is that fungus? I don't know. Something white. Like, it could be just a mushroom, but it could be something. That's not fungus. No, that's not fungus. What the hell is that? Okay. So it looks like a mother holding a child. Oh, is there anything here? Okay. It says sacrificial lamb. Whoa. That is so creepy. Sacrificial lamb, dude. That's kind of weird considering you found the uh, the Jesus thing back there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, we've been we've been getting really really weird stuff. I don't understand. I don't understand cults. I haven't been. I'm not the kind of guy that kind of sat, you know, in his dad's basement watching, you know, documentaries about cults and stuff like that. So I don't really know how they operate. But lately, lately in the past few episodes, we have been coming across things to do with um, cults. I'm just gonna set this thing down. I just saw somebody. Just be Further very down, careful. I saw somebody move. It went from like right to left. So that's what I mean. Like I don't feel safe in areas when I do find cult stuff. Mm -hmm. My the cult that I've been dealing with, they seem to follow me. It doesn't matter where I go. They follow me. All right, Brad, lead the way. <laughs> as long as we're safe. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw someone, so... Uh, yes, sir. I mean... Oh, oh, big brother. Yeah. Big one? Yeah. Yeah, we've been having to dodge these guys ever me. since we come in here. Look at this little Hello. guy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> we mean you no harm. They're just chilling. I think they're coming out because of the rain. Yeah. All the worms would be coming out yeah. and stuff, right? No. <laughs> I kind of want to take one home as a pet. Oh, 100%. That'd be fun. I miss my cat. Oh, for all the subs that know, like, I was close with my little guy. And he, he passed away recently, but he was old. You know what I mean? He lived his life. I always hear sounds in forests like this, and I don't know what to make out of it. This place is eerie as hell. Yeah, so it says my next point is actually down in this area over here. That is See, I hate this. I don't like going off trail for a point. I don't know about you. Like, I mean, the long grass I can handle, but like things like this, like that looks like a fall. Yep. But we'll check it. I'll check it out. I'm gonna try to wrap around. What the hell is that? I don't know, dude. Careful, because whoever I just saw might be. Okay. Down there somewhere. That's our point, too. I think there's something right there. Is there? Yeah, I see something. It's yeah. like shining from your light there. Okay. What is that? Yeah, there's definitely something there. Alright. I'll go down because it's very, very slippery, yeah. Angelo. Yeah, like I don't want... Th if one of us falls and gets hurt, We'll need the other guy to help the other guy, so I'll go down carefully and bring that up, whatever it is. Yeah, this is what I mean, like just looks like a straight fall. You have arrived. 
Looks like some sort of picture frame or something. What? I heard branches breaking again this side. You got your knife? Yeah. So earlier, you guys will see this on his video, not mine, but there's been things happening in this woods. We've been finding cult stuff. And it just sounds like there's somebody following us. I'm still, uh... <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna bring this up now. Yeah, so I just found this. Oh my God, there's a big spider around here. Get out of here, buddy. I just found this now. Shake it. Yeah. I just found this right now. And it looks like just like a, a coaster for Niagara Falls. Oh. And that's what it looks like at night. I know that. We'll see if there's any. Yep, the spider out crawling on you now. Oh, whoa. whoa. He's running away. It says, we followed you there. What? Yeah, I did do... I, where? I went there. I actually did a Randonautica episode there. Oh, in Niagara? Yeah. Like recently? Um, I was there too, actually, recently. Not at the falls, but... Probably a few months ago. Oh, okay. Like you were just visiting? Yeah, I just wanted to go and check out my friend's store. Okay. He's got a really cool candy shop. Yeah, I don't like the sounds of that. And that's the funny thing. So the subs have been asking that they're just like, check your car for trackers. Yeah. I've checked the car. Like I've, I've been done, to the mechanic. I've done the same thing. I haven't found a single thing. I've never found anything. Yeah. So I mean like they could I mean, be just following us, like driving with I, the license I plates. I don't know. Some people have been suggesting like maybe it's our phones, maybe it's the actual app itself. Mm -hmm. it, it could be anything, right? We don't know. Well, here comes the rain. But yeah, I, like honestly that's all it says, guys. I mean, I can't really rip this thing out. It's a coaster. It's actually not like a picture frame. It's all put together. But yeah. Hmm. We're being followed, obviously. So. Yeah, that was fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was someone here. Who knows where the hell they went? Mm -hmm. And why were they walking in complete darkness? And how were they walking in complete darkness? Because it's like... With no lighting, there's it's pitch black out here. So, well, if they live out here, they definitely know the terrain more That's than us. True, yeah. That's a big thing. I'm just gonna leave this thing here. We'll collect that on the back. I'll have to examine it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what? I'll probably set another intent. Yeah. And then we'll just go from there. Okay. So, yeah. So I think we're gonna set another intent, guys, and just uh, we'll go from there. All right. All right, guys. So I ran another point. And it's up ahead, me and Angelo, going down the trail. Yeah, this one looks kind of close. Yeah, yeah. Not too far. <laughs> I just get eared out when I hear branches break so yeah. close by me while I'm doing this. I don't understand these people, how they operate. They've been wanting to uh, join me as well. Oh, we didn't tell you this, though. Uh, we found out the actual name of the cult. They're called the Children of Selene. Me and Brayden, we looked up Celine, and she's a moon goddess. So what, you know, there's a thing right there. Whoa, that's not even the point. The point was actually up this way. Oh. Holy now smokes. We're about to experience torrential downpour. Yeah. Should we find some cover first? Um, I think we're okay. That's okay. not too bad. Yeah, so we just found this here, guys. Yesterday. Seeds of Yesterday by... BC Andrews. What is this say on the back? That's actually a creepy photograph. Yeah, BC Andrews writes like really creepy books. Like, are they horror? Uh, I think some of them are, yeah. Okay. Oh, damn. Yeah, so we just found this now, guys. So this says, The horror began with flowers in the attic. The terrifying tale of four innocent children locked away from the world by a cruel mother. The shocking fury continued with petals on the wind and if there be thorns. Now V.C. Andrews has created the last chapter in the strange chilling tale of passion and peril. Okay. It is actually pouring down now. 
I'm wondering if we should look for another spot. I don't know. We might have to get out of here soon. Yeah, yeah. I do want to check this out because I know we've been finding things left in, but we'll see just how this goes on. It's starting to just pour down on us, guys. Okay, so. Oh, hold up. Okay, so this was marked. It says Garden in the Sky. Did it say anything else? Okay, so in these pages there's nothing else here, but it looks like there's some other marker here. Yeah, we're gonna have to get going before we get too soaked. Okay, what is this? Oh, here we go. So somebody actually did highlight some stuff in here. So it says, Betrayal. Where are you? This page says, she'll learn, she'll learn. We all have to learn how to cope and what can't, to cope with what can't be helped. She'll change, I promise she'll change. His, he, his tears had stopped, but the anguish in his eyes stayed. And which is really funny, because that sounds like something that VC Andrews would so the, put together I like in a horror. Book, I read it when I was younger. I don't know if you're familiar with Flowers in the Attic. Um, I'm not. I know that like it's a book. I believe it was like the parents died, so they took. It was like a, a relative took in three orphans of the parents who died. Okay. And ended up essentially locking them in the attic, and they were just like, you know, neglected. I think beaten and all sorts of like craziness. So, That's scary. Yeah, it's a pretty crazy story. And what's funny is that a lot of the times we're coming across missing person type evidence, you know yeah. what I mean? Whether it's true or not, but we've been finding a lot of things to do with missing people and oh, talking yeah. about missing people. For sure. But anyways guys, it is pouring down on us right now. I think, yeah, we're gonna probably wait it out in the car and see if we can set another point, if we can tonight. But it's just coming down on us now. It's funny, because it wasn't even calling rain. But um, yeah, we're gonna head to the car right now, guys. It's just, it's it's really coming down. So anyways, we'll check you back later. Hey guys, what's going on? So Angelo ran his intent, and he's off doing his. So I'm running mine right now. So we're just going down the trail. Thank you so much for uh, putting new intents in, because last video, nobody, uh, Nobody dropped any new intent, so we kind of had to go by the seat of our pants and using our own. Um, but yeah, this is a different area here we're using, so yeah, let's go check it out. Alright, so let's just take this thing out. Sorry, I just have to let it this adjust, as always. There we go. Sorry about the rain, guys, but it's just something that we have to put up with today. It's just been pouring out. So our point's actually way up this way. Let me check it out. Wait a second. Yeah, that's up here. Sorry guys, I just had to recalculate and kind of oh. check out my... What the hell was that? Hello? I thought I just heard a person there. Hello? Like I thought I heard somebody up there. Oh. Holy smoke. Hello, are you okay? Oh. What the hell? I don't know, we could be dealing with the homeless person. Just some crazy guy. What the hell was that? Gonna check it out. 
Hey, you going up there? I don't know what that was about, guys. So he was chilling up here. It's funny because my point's actually not... My point's not even over here, so... What the hell? What is this? Okay, hold on, guys. I'm just gonna check this out real quick. I'll wrap this around my wrist. I guess that this dude just left this here. So it says, good friends are forever. Let's see. I'm just gonna see if there's anything on this, guys. That song sounds very, very familiar. Wow, that's creepy. So that kind of reminds me of the old Toby stuff that I used to find. I just don't know what's going on with this dude. Like, I don't know if it was a homeless person or something hanging out here. There's this bench here. And he was just kind of hanging out here. So I don't know if he was sleeping up here or what, but it's pouring out, so I don't know. Yeah, be on your lookout, guys. I don't know what's going on. Holy. Can I help you? Holy smokes, who is this guy? Like he sounds like he's hurt, but that's the same thing. Like I don't know what kind of people are out here guys running into them. So I don't, I kind of want to play it safe. He did sound like he was hurt though, which kind of makes me, yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's go up here. Hopefully there's not too much water going on my lens, guys. I know that there's lots of rain. Let's just do a little camera wipe real quick. Kind of as we go. I don't run into him. Whoa. Hello? Are you okay, bro? He's just... He's just wearing a robe. Take it easy, man. Who is this guy? Okay, so I think he took off. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. Like, this is really, really strange. I don't think I've ever had a run-in with somebody like this. This is really, really weird. Hold on. What is this guy doing? All right, so my point's actually off over here, guys. So let's check it out. While things are safe,
Okay, that is so strange because my point is actually out over here. I don't know what this is. It could be this guy like leaving stuff down. What is this? It says Life in Space by Lucas John Mix. Astrobiology for everyone. Wow, surprisingly it's not soaked on the inside. But yeah, there's just some... Wow. It's almost like a science book about like... Space and whatnot. That was kind of neat. What was that? Yeah, so there's like... Like biology and things like that. I don't really see anything written in here, but... I mean... This could have been left by anybody here. That was just kind of weird though. Seeing that dude, like he was just... He was just chilling out here. Alright, so let's go to the point now. So she over here. Yo! What the heck is that? So it looks like there's something right here. What is this? You have arrived. Oh my god. So we just found this right now, guys. It looks like this carousel. That is actually insane. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Does it even work? Oh, sorry. I'm like knocking things over. Let's see. Oh, it does work. So they do kind of bob up and down and whatnot. But I did find this. I'm gonna have to check that in the car, guys, but I think it's soaked, so... I should get back to Angelo soon. I'm gonna go look for him. I don't want to read this by myself because I don't know what this guy's up to. Hello, is anyone out there? This thing is drenched. So it's hard to say how long this has been sitting out here. Anybody out there? Hello? I don't know where that guy is. He walked down that trail down there. So... I don't know if I should go down that way. I mean, that's where he came from. What is down here? I think I came down this way here. I'm just worried of where this guy could be hanging out, that's all. Okay, so that's where I came from. Let me go down the path there. Yo, hold on a second. What the is that? I see something here. What is that? Okay, so we just found this right here. I don't know what this is. Could have been left by that guy. Okay, so there's some sort of weird symbol. It says... The seeds... Of? Maybe? But that has a weird symbol. The seeds of old may spawn a new, a new evil. And there's the eye, guys. So we've seen that before. I'm just gonna leave that because I've been finding some really, really creepy stuff in this forest. I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't know if he's following me or 
if he's just a homeless person, but I think I'm gonna find my way back to Angelo. That point was literally enough for me. But yeah, I don't see anybody. Okay, so we're gonna make our way back to the car, guys. I'm kind of straddling this uh, letter in my arm. I don't want to read it until I can get it dry and be in a safe place. Hopefully whatever message is in it, it's not damaged. Okay, so let's make our way back to the car. That was so odd. All right, so we'll go down here. Just be very, very careful. As long as I'm not in danger, I seem to be pretty upbeat. That's the last thing I want is somebody to jump out and attack me. But the guy just seemed kind of like, he sounded like he was hurt or in pain or something. Hello? Okay, so we're back here. I don't remember the car being here. So, I must have came from this trail here. Okay, I'm just a little lost, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, sweet. His light's on right there. So, he must have gone back to the car. Just gonna take this thing down. All right, so Angelo's back at the car now. So we can probably uh, meet up with him and show him what this is. It says E on it, so I have another letter. I hope that it's not damaged, it's drenched. It's really soaked right now, guys. So um, we're gonna meet up with him. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go from there, guys. All right, okay, bye. Okay, guys, so we found this note. Um, I just didn't want to open it up until I found Ange Angelo. Um, I saw some crazy, like, vagrant in the woods. And I don't know if he's the one that left this stuff here, but he was stumbling and wandering all over the place and making a lot of sound. So I found this envelope and it said E on the back of it. So I'm just gonna open it up and check it out. All right, let's see what it is. And it's same kind of like typing as before that we saw. So this says, guys, in the quiet town of Willowbrook, a mysterious group known as the Children of Selene gathered under the pale glow of the moon, worshipping their moon goddess with unwavering devotion. Among them was a woman named Alara, once deeply entrenched in the cult's beliefs, but as doubt crept into her mind, she made a harrowing decision to leave the cult behind, leading her down a dark and twisted path. Okay, so this is interesting. Abandoning the children of Selene, Alara's faith was replaced with a malevolent desire for power. She abducted three innocent women, ensnaring them in her web of terror. Among her victims was Jessica, a vibrant soul whose light was extinguished too soon. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, a young and ambitious YouTuber named Brad... Okay, so like this is people that are stalking us Delved into the town's eerie history Driven by curiosity to unearth the secrets lurking beneath the surface in his quest for content Brad stumbled upon evidence linking Alara to the abductions and murderers Alara see I've never come across that name Alara? That's yeah me? And what's oh, weird, weird is that a lot of the notes that we've been getting have E on it. And we mm -hmm. didn't know who it was. Because usually the stuff that I found of Ellis, it actually said Ellis. There was no yeah. one letter or anything like that. Okay, so it says... Let me just read this. With a growing sense of responsibility, he decided to expose her crimes to the world. As Brad dug deeper, he unwittingly attracted Alara's attention. Consumed by fear of exposure and an insatiable thirst for revenge, she began stalking Brad, her steps shrouded in the shadows. The line between hunter and hunted blurred as Brad's life became as chilling as a game of cat and mouse. Hmm. With every passing day, Alara's grip on reality weakened. 
her obsession with Brad intensifying. Brad, driven by his newfound purpose, worked relentlessly to gather enough evidence to put Alara behind bars. The tension escalated, culminating in a heart-pounding showdown between the two, beneath the very soon same moon that had once united them. In a climatic confrontation, Brad managed to outwit Alara, revealing the evidence he had gathered to the authorities. The moonlit night witnessed the end of Alara's reign of terror as she finally brought justice for her heinous crimes. As the town of Willowbrook slowly healed from the trauma, the memory of the children of Selene and their gruesome actions faded into history. Brad's courage and determination had prevailed, proving that even against the darkness, darkest odds, the light of truth would always find a way to shine through. And there's nothing written on the back. Weird. But it's funny because I never was able to bring anything to the police. We yeah. found what looked like a murder weapon buried in the ground in a safe, Angelo. I'm not even kidding. Really? We found human hair. We found what looked like an old like mallet or hammer. Okay. And it looked like like a dog chain, but like a like a bondage thing, like something oh. for humans. You know what I mean? It was very very eerie. But I've never come across this name before, Alara or yeah. anything. I know me and you, we have come across the name Jessica, which that caught my that caught my attention right away. I'm like, okay, but like this is weird. Like I this don't is, know yeah. who sent this. You know what I mean? Well, I could, we could have had, like, I could have had a similar thing. Remember when we went to that, uh, I don't remember that. It was that one forested area. They had, like, the ruins and stuff. Yeah. That we went to. It was so random. Yeah. Just a dirt bike in the middle of the night. Well, and the fact that he pulled up right when we were talking. Yeah. He was kind of, like, hanging out over here. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean, man. I do think that somebody's following us. Even though there's no trackers, as like I've I've even said this to the subs, we we have all checked our cars. There's no trackers mm -hmm. or anything like that. You got to think we go on the road a lot, so that's one thing that we do check before we ever go out anywhere, before any one of us left the country. But the fact of the matter, if somebody is like leaving these little knickknacks behind i don't think this came from the man i saw tonight i don't no i literally think that he was sleeping there was like this picnic yeah. bench i think he might have just had one too many that's possible yeah. and was sleeping there and stuff but for what reason was he stumbling around i like, mean it would if he was drunk yeah it might make sense or maybe he was on something who knows right yeah and the fact that the rain kind of picked up as i was coming in it was yeah. probably like i can't sleep here i'm getting so yeah right? yeah exactly but who leaving this behind i don't know and I, i'm not sure who alara is either it's just going to be one of those things that like if i find more evidence then i can put these pieces together mm -hmm. but anyways guys um be sure to um check out angelo's channel if any of you haven't yet i'll um, be sure to smash the like button hit subscribe we got a lot more to come for you okay